Greetings YouTube and welcome to my next build. This one is going to be a bit meta because my goal is to make a piece of equipment that will help me make videos. I would like to make a camera boom. Specifically a camera boom that will hold my camera horizontally facing pointing straight down so I can make videos at my review table up in my office uh, more efficiently. Now I currently have a setup that's designed to hold a camera horizontally pointing straight down with lighting and everything. The problem is it's made out of PVC tubing. It's big, it's cumbersome, it's difficult to set up, which means I don't set it up very often. And if I had something that was simple, minimum number of components, and that I could set up quickly, I would be more likely to use it. So that's where this idea comes from. So this is a Welt Safe Lock Tripod made in Hylia, Florida. I don't ever consider Hylia, Florida to be a hub of manufacturing, uh, so I don't know how old this thing is, but it's not, it's not new, I can tell you that. Um, and I got this at a yard sale, I think for five bucks. Um, it's big, it's heavy, which is exactly what I want. And if I have the legs in the retracted position, but open, and I use the center column, at the all the way extended position, it's the perfect height to hold a camera above my work surface. And I can always bring it down if I want to get it closer, if I want to have it go up higher, I just extend the legs and I can, I can work out exactly the positioning I want for the camera. Um, I will also have some control with this boom once I am completed and I'll explain that in a minute. So this is going to be the boom. It's, one, it's a piece of three quarter by three quarter stock uh, hollow tubing, aluminum, uh, just square stock tubing, standard stuff, and uh, I picked that up at Heart at, at, at Home Depot, I think. Yeah, probably Home Depot. And I'm going to be using these quarter twenty eye bolts as quick uh, fasteners. So there, I only have to have two of them. One which will attach the boom to this, and then one which will be used to attach the camera to the boom. And that's it. Two fasteners. That's my goal. Have minimum number of fasteners. Now this came with a bolt that came up through here that was for connecting it to a camera. Uh, this had a shoe at one time, I'm sure. I never, I don't, I do not have the shoe that you would attach to a camera, which would then let you connect it quickly um, and, and it line it up with this slot. I don't have that. Um, and the bolt, I still have the bolt, but it was, it's aluminum and it was heavily oxidized and getting it out of this thing was a pain in the butt. But this nut right here still functions. It's a quarter 20, which is why I'm using those. Um, and that's going to make getting things attached very simple. And I'm, what I'm, I'm going to do is I want to make sure the boom doesn't move, move around. So I'm going to create a locking mechanism where I'm going to put this half inch bolt through the boom. And so when you're, when it's connected, it'll be, it'll be right there. Just, just, just inside that radius. Obviously I'm going to have to grind this down so that the top of this here is flush with this uh, when I'm finished and that will keep the boom from doing this. So lock it in place, drop a bolt through here, tighten it down, and, and the boom will then be in place. Now on the end that the hammer will be on, I'm going to use this piece of three quarter inch wide steel bar stock. And I decided to go with steel as opposed to aluminum, even though you know, you're mixing steel and aluminum. Um, because uh, it's more versatile to me. I will find far more uses for a piece of steel than I would a piece of aluminum. So I couldn't find a bracket that didn't have pre-drilled holes that were in the wrong place. If I could have found a bracket that had holes in the right place, I would have just bought the bracket. But that means I would, have, would not have to make my own bracket. Um, but I don't have one. So I'm probably gonna end up cutting a piece about, probably yay long. I'll cut, drill two holes here to attach it permanently to this and a hole in the end and that's where the camera will fit. Now um, at the end of this whole process I will take a picture with my phone because the camera in question is being held in my hand so I can't really take a picture of itself being attached to a boom. Um, so the first thing I need to do is hook to set this up um, just so I can have it uh, there as a reference um, and probably start grinding this thing down until I get it to the right size. Because once this is ground to the right thickness, I'm done with it. Until I, the, the only thing I'll have to do is attach it to the boom once I get this, once I get that, the, the, the holes drilled for it. I uh, will have to figure out what I want for the spacing here. I haven't quite figured that out exactly yet. The spacing from the center of this to the spacing of the center of the hole so that this bolt head comes about there. 
Um, and again, it's it's not an exact science. If it's a little bit too close or a little bit further out, as long as it locks, as long as it locks in place, um, I will be happy. That'll make my life easier. Um, and once I get this sorted out, put that aside, then we're going to do some layout on this for the holes here, and then I'll probably make this, and then we'll do the layout here, and I'll be showing you the steps along the way as we go. So first thing to do is get this set up so I have it as a reference as I work. Here we have the tripod in the position it will be when I'm using it as a, uh, a boom. So the legs are in the retract position and that is at the maximum height. Um, the only thing that's keeping it from going any higher is the fact that there is uh, a small plastic cap at the bottom which is just there for show. It doesn't actually stop anything. Uh, technically, I could put the, make this longer and even go up. I think this may extend as well, but I'm not positive I haven't played with it. So I, had, I don't need to at the moment. So this head has got multiple axes of control. This one lets me go side to side. This one lets me go back and forth. And this one lets me rotate. So I have a lot of control over how this is set up. And I've already got this already ground down so that now sits just slightly below the surface of that which is exactly what I want and I'm going to be using a distance between the center of that bolt and the center of this bolt of 900 thou. Um, so I already got the tubing um, marked with that, that, that distance. Now I'm going to set up my clamp on my drill press. I'm going to need to get a half inch drill bit out first. I'll drill the half inch hole first because that is the only large hole I'll be draw, drilling in this entire process. All the other holes will be quarter inches. So I went, I went a bit into the zone there and I'm actually finished with all the components. So here we have the bracket and these two holes are going to go here and that is then going to leave this hanging out in space like that and that's how I'll attach the camera to this whole fixture. Got a couple of quarter inch 20 bolts and some nuts to do that. And I almost screwed up. <laughs> I almost screwed up, but I stopped myself, yay. And here we have the connection, which will be for that and for one of these. And then one of these just by itself works perfect as a fastener. I don't do anything else to it. Just screw it right through the piece of tubing and right into the shoe itself. So now all I have to do is set this in here and make sure I get uh, the uh, get two of those uh, to the sides parallel with this, and that'll work there. Um, and then I need to probably put a stop here, um, use these two nuts to make a shortened version of uh, that so that I can then use that to connect the camera to the uh, the whole unit. And again, I made no modifications to this whatsoever. This is the stock tripod in and of itself. Now this is a very low uh, complexity build. This was just um, tubing, which is this aluminum tubing is incredibly easy to drill. Um, this is easy to, you can cut this with a hacksaw and this soft steel is also easy to drill. You could have done this entire thing with, with a hand drill and you would have been fine. And I bought this stock and I didn't change the spacing on this, didn't, didn't cut it down. In the event I ever want to put a heavier object on the end, I want to be able to have a space where I could put a counterweight. Um, and in case I ever wanted to make it, make it longer, I could just take those two holes and make them down here. So I wanted that extra space. And I mean, it's only an extra foot, it's not that big a deal. Um, so yeah, this is a low complexity job. So this is the kind of thing anybody could make in their garage or on the back porch or something and it's easy to get your hands on a tripod so what I'm trying to say is that getting a camera set up so that you can do videos is not complex you can do this you don't need specialty parts you can make the simple things you need oh one thing I did want to show off is this which is, I believe called a jeweler's vise but I used it to hold this nut while I was grinding on my grinding wheel. Um, that's the only thing that might take a little bit of work is grinding something like that down. Um, you could do it with a file, but using a grinding wheel is a hell of a lot faster. Um, that's, the only, that's the only labor intensive part of this. And it wasn't particularly labor intensive, I should point out. Um, but yeah, this was very handy, literally, because it kept me from having to hold a hot bolt while I was trying to grind it down. And keeping a container of liquid nearby so you don't overheat the object is also very handy but that costs nothing. <laughs> All right, so let's get this assembled and then I'll show you what it looks like. 
So here is the completed boom. This is all attached and all I need to do is put this bolt in. This is all locked in place. And here is the final setup. And all you do is put the screw through there and it holds the camera right here. Again, there will be stills at the end of this video to show you what I mean. Um, so that will hold the camera so it is pointing straight down. Now I can also, I can raise this up and down of course, but I can also make subtle adjustments by tilting this and then adjusting the camera to remain horizontal. So if I needed to make a, an adjustment, um, a fine adjustment, I can do that and just tilt the camera so it remains level. Um, so I have a lot of control with this. Again, I can, I can go this way, I can go this way, I can rotate it, I can go up and down. This boom is incredibly simple. It was not expensive to do um, and it works. It just flat out works and I'm really thrilled with the results. Um, yeah. So now that I have this, I'll get rid of my other one. Uh, I don't think I can reuse the components. Some of them I may be able to salvage. Some of them I have affixed together with uh, adhesive and so they're gonna have to get scrapped. I think I can recycle them. Um, and uh, the rest of this, and, and this will take up much less space in my closet. So it's two components and then you're ready to go. So I am really damn happy. Yay. So, thank you for being here with me for this build. This has been an awesome project. It's, made, it's gonna make my life so much simpler. I can get to certain videos I've been putting off because I didn't want to put that other rig up. And now I can get to it in no time at all. So, thank you for being here for this video. I hope you had a good time. And I hope that you come here back for the next one.